Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a look at an abandoned restaurant and little abandoned shopping center that's attached to it. Now Mark and I found this while we were just out looking for stuff to explore in Apache Junction the other day and uh, this was quite the find. And I knew that wearing my Zelda shoes was going to give us good luck while we were out exploring. Now the restaurant was called Cobb's Family Dining and Lounge and I'm not really 100% sure on when this place opened. I found a few conflicting dates on when things on this property opened, but I believe it was 1973. That looks like when they were granted their liquor license anyways, but I'll get into more of some of the other dates later on in the video. Now, the first thing that caught our eye while we were driving down Apache Trail was the sign. That is absolutely ugly in a beautiful way, or beautiful in an ugly way. And then that's when we noticed that this whole lot was empty. And you can see there's a couple of little shops back there and then also kind of a strip mall thing. And it looks like that's all owned by the same owner. Here's a shot of the restaurant itself. But before we look at the restaurant closer, let's take a look at some of the other little shops because these really caught our eye as well. Now, some of the other dates we found were 1958 and 1967. So if I had to guess, I think these two little buildings were built in 1958. And these are also completely abandoned and in pretty rough shape. You can see the glass is all broken out, but it gives us a really good view into the little building itself. And it looks like it's been completely trashed inside. Both of these little buildings show some pretty clear evidence of squatters using them as flop houses. Now something I noticed when I was looking at older pictures of this property is there was some sort of a little structure that connected these two buildings at one point, but it looks like it's long gone now. And you can see the name Dreams and Legends carved there in the concrete. That's actually what this was. This little uh, place here was called Dreams and Legends, which was a Native American art gallery. And it's actually still open. They just moved locations and it looks like from what I can tell on Facebook, they just updated their address in March. So they haven't been out of here very long and it already looks like this. But here we can see more crap strewn about all over in the other building, and weirdly enough, an old golf bag. I wonder if that's stolen or something. Let's try my best not to get cut on the glass there. We also found some weird writing here on the concrete. This is clearly the writings of a crazy person. And you can see some symbols drawn there at the bottom. We'll see those later on in the restaurant carved in the window. I have no idea what this is babbling about. According to the real estate listings I found, all the empty property behind here is also owned by the same owner. And this little window thing looks like there may have been like a window air conditioning unit here. That's pretty common in these older buildings in Apache Junction. Especially if it was built in 1958, before air conditioning was common. Looks like there was a plumbing access panel here, and I'm wondering if that was ripped off because people were looking for copper to strip, or if it was just from maintenance that was trying to be done. And uh, here's our old friend Fireball. We see these quite a bit, these little Fireball liquor bottles. Now I was trying to figure out what this other bottle was, but I didn't want to touch it with my hands. So I did a pretty piss poor job of trying to kick it and flip it over. But I eventually got it. And there's uh, Fireball's best friend, Rot Gut Vodka. The real estate property listing we were able to find for all this has all of these buildings and everything that we're going to look at listed together for sale, but it's hard to believe that these two little buildings in particular are ever going to be useful for anything again. They're in pretty bad shape. We can see some empty food containers and stuff back there, more evidence of squatters. They are cute little buildings though. And I'm glad that the business that was in here is not completely gone, that they were able to move to a better location. When we find things like this when we're out exploring, we always get excited because, you know, they make for great videos and pictures and stuff. But it's also sad to think that in a lot of cases, these are businesses and people's dreams that have failed.
Now next to these little buildings, there's a newer-ish strip mall type building. And this is the one that I believe was built in 1968. It just looks a little bit newer. Not that new though. And this building is completely abandoned as well. You'll notice that sign there that says real estate. There was a real estate agency was one of the tenants here. And that's also something I'm happy to report that they're not completely closed as well. They've also moved from this location to somewhere better. More broken glass though. There's a couch and a little old TV in there. It looks like more evidence of people using this as a flop house. We did try all the doors on these buildings, but they were locked and, you know, we don't want to do anything illegal like trespassing or anything. So if they're locked, we'll just stay out and look through the windows. We're also right off a major highway there, so there's a good chance police and stuff could be driving by and we just don't want to attract a ton of attention to ourselves. Now this looks like a really old and crusty nail spa and I'm not sure when this closed. I couldn't find really any information on this online, but it looks like it's been closed for a while. And unfortunately, this window is too tinted to really see much through it. And right next to the nail salon, there's a hair salon. And this one's pretty much completely gutted as well and looks like it's been closed for a while. And those fixtures look really old. Now, unlike the two little buildings we first looked at, this looks like it still could be useful for something. It just needs a little sprucing up and remodeling. And it looks like somebody was or is attempting to do that here. There's some paint cans in the corner. And uh, this suite looks a lot cleaner than the other ones. See the sign there in the reflection. And that looks like a fresh-ish coat of blue paint. So again, it looks like somebody may have been trying to get something started here, but there's really no evidence of anything going on now. Mark noticed too this light was on, so there is still power to the building. Now let's uh, go take a closer look at the restaurant. Man, that sign is great. So this is Cobb's Family Dining and Lounge, and it opened in 1973, I believe. And when we first stumbled upon this, it looked to us like it had been closed for a very long time, but it turns out it's been less than a year that this has been shut down. And from what I understand, it changed owners a few years ago, and they did some remodeling and were trying to convert it to like a barbecue place, but it seems like that wasn't successful. And here's those symbols I was talking about that were written on the sidewalk between the two old buildings. There's also carved in this window. If we look through this window, we can see some of the evidence of the remodeling they did, like that wood that's along the back wall there. That's, that's new from the remodel, according to pictures that I saw. Now, it seems like what ultimately killed this place was actually a storm back in July, I guess, damaged their roof enough to the point that they had to shut down to repair it, and it doesn't look like they ever opened up since then. This looks like the shell of an old payphone. Now even though it seems like this place shut down because of the damage to the roof from the storm in July, it seems like this place may have been doomed even before that. Just looking at reviews on Google Reviews and Yelp, they were getting some pretty bad reviews. There was a lot of them. And it was interesting because people would either say that the food was horrible but the service was great, or they would complain that the service was crap but the food was delicious, but either way they weren't getting a good review. And there was also a lot of people saying that, you know, the service was crap, but it wasn't busy. So, like I said, it seems like this was just a doomed venture. Which is unfortunate, because this place has been opened since 1973. It seems like it has a lot of history. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tour of an abandoned restaurant and shopping center. I know we had a lot of fun exploring it. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. 
Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my tour of the Cobbs Family Dining and Lounge. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also make sure to follow at the social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel.